Hey everybody, welcome to Sometimes I Music. I'm your host, Adam Briscoe, bringing you episode 2 of the podcast. Hope you guys are having a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever, whenever you are. Uh, Before I get this episode started, I want to say thank you to everybody for the response to episode number 1. That was really cool. Um, Everyone's feedback was really, really nice. Everyone was really awesome about it, including the bands Marble Waves and The Settlement. You guys rock, and thank you for being on the very first episode. Um, Today's episode, though, is... I was going to start... I was going to do two songs an episode, but sometimes maybe we'll do one, because I found a song that I think is really cool. It's very... Let's just get into it. The song is called In Another Life. It's by um, a musician that goes by Huitzilin, which is the Nahuatl word for hummingbird, which is... I believe, like, South southern, South America, like, very Aztec, that kind of zone. I could be wrong, and I could be mispronouncing everything, but hopefully I am not. Now, the song is, it's, it's very simple, and that's not, that's not a, a bad thing. What I'm saying, I'm not saying it in a bad way. It's, it's simple in the fact that it doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles, which can be good. Um, bells and whistles can be, you know... In, in a song, it can be very complimenting, very good. It can also bring a song down like it's got too much. And same with, you know, a very simple song. It can be simple, which makes everything else really stand out. Or it can be simple in a very tasteful way, and I think this is in a very tasteful way. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. I got the babs today. Um, so getting in the song, like, yes, it's very simple. It's very, um, you know, just drum track guitar track and a vocal everything feels very muffled but not in a in a in a hand over the mouth kind of way like this but kind of like it was edited in a compressed kind of way and the first time that I listened through it I was I thought this is very atmospheric it's got this chanting vocal undertone and then it kind of stops in the middle like a like a like you're holding a breath in in a scary movie, like you know something scary is coming and you just hold and wait for the jump scare and then the song, boom, comes back in and it's not a long song, it's short and I just had it on repeat all day long and um, I saw, I listened to it on Spotify, I wanted to hear, you know, what was kind of happening underneath because it kind of sounded like words but it was a little bit inaudible, again, not in a bad way, I believe it's the choice of the editing. I could be incorrect, but I found the Bandcamp link, and if you don't know what Bandcamp is, it's essentially the artist picks a price, it could be free, it could be 99 cents, whatever, and you buy the song the old-fashioned way, (laughs) and um, that's where I found the lyrics for this song, and the lyrics, I'm going to use my cheat sheet here, I'm going to read the lyrics to you really quick because they're lovely. The lyrics are... In another life, we're still laughing at home. Your smile says it all. I don't want you to go. In another life, you still want me to phone. A thousand miles isn't long. For me and you, am I wrong? In this life, I'm sat crying at home. Your smile had it all. Never wanted to go. In this life, you don't know me at all. A thousand miles was enough. For you and I, is it tough? That's that's beautiful writing right there. It, it fits in. It, it's simplistic, but too, right to the core, you know, to the point. And that's what I feel with the song, too. It, it's very... it feels deep. It's It's got the deepness of, like, the atmosphere that, like, Pink Floyd can put out, but without having to go over that ledge and go, oh, here's, you know, this sound, and we use this patch for this. Like, it's it's just a little bit, and it's just enough, and it's... To me, it's it's perfect. I love that. Um, I reached out to the musician via there was a contact link on the Bandcamp website, and and the guy was ex- uh, ecstatic that I uh, that I was giving it some attention, which I I love hearing that because you know when I started doing music like eighteen some odd years ago, and when I started doing my first songs, I would have loved for someone to just go, hey. That song's cool, and people did. People did, of course, but you know, just to have someone random out of the blue that you're not trying to go, hey, listen to my song, is really nice. And and genuinely, I, I want to just review songs 
that I really, really like. And this song I really, really like. I had it on repeat all day long. And I suggest going to the Bandcamp website, bringing up the lyrics, and reading along while you listen to the song. Listen to it first without any editing, like without reading the lyrics. Just listen to the song, go in blind, then come back to it, give it a listen again. And um, that's that's it for that song. I'll put a, a, a description in the bottom of the Spotify link in the description box and on the YouTube video. And um, that's for that song. I feel like I'll probably come back to it a bajillion times. Um, I found it on Reddit. And the moderators for the subreddit had taken the song off, but the title was still there, so I was able to find it. So I'm really happy. I believe Emmanuel was the name of the person that I talked to that did the song. So lots of love. Go check out this song. It is a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. Um, as for me, what am I doing? Um, with my music, I I'm going into the studio hopefully soon. Um, I'm taking kind of not conceptualizing what I'm gonna do with my album I just have some little ideas that I think would be really neat and I don't want to give them all away that's the thing I don't want to give away how the sausage is made I want to keep some little secrets for myself to just put in there but um, I'm curious because everyone always asks me what genre of music I am and I just kind of say acoustic pop rock stuff I like to dabble in a little bit of everything I don't Genres are great, but you kind of get stuck in it if you keep doing... That sounds like I'm just full of it, but you know what I mean? It's uh, I'm gonna use the Beatles as an example for essentially everything. The Beatles did like, you know, Losing the Sky with Diamonds, but then you go to their early albums and they had like country songs. Like, um, Babies in Black to me is very country-esque, that old kind of country, and then they had like jaunty little songs they did different voices for songs like they just had fun with their music and i feel a lot of people get stuck in the idea of this is my genre this is what i do and that is all you become and then things eventually to me start sounding the same after a while so you kind of got to go in there and switch things up and that's kind of what i want to do for this is just go in there switch things up get let's get weird with it we're gonna get weird and it's gonna be fun and hopefully i can bring you guys into the studio um maybe we'll talk to andrew in studio maybe i'll bring a microphone well, he's got microphones he's at a studio maybe i'll con him into being on one of these but um that's it for this episode you guys so that song again let me go on the cheat sheet is in another life by Whitseline, which is h-u-i-t z or z wherever you're from I-L-I-N. That's H-U-I-T-Z-I-L-I-N. And the song is In Another Life. You can find it on Spotify, or you can go to my playlist for Sometimes I Music, and I'm going to put all the songs that I listen to into that one playlist so you guys can listen to the songs. But until the next episode, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day or night. Wake up bright and strong, or go to bed sleepy and tired. <laughs> Um, until the next episode, guys, my name is Adam. I am your host. Thank you for listening to Sometimes I Music, and I will see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.